what's going on guys it's your boy scrub here back again with another video hope you guys are having a great day i know i am and uh, i know i'm having a great day because i do not have a poop fence outside of my house blocking me from leaving but uh yeah apparently out there in america there's somebody that's neighbor literally built a fence of poop around their house to prevent them from leaving over a neighborly dispute which honestly sounds like a pretty crappy day to me let's be realistic here nobody wants to wake up to a wall of literal turds outside their window preventing them from going anywhere it's like the worst possible way to be snowed in you know you would think that it's illegal Alright, 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 so I think we can all agree that uh, on a daily basis we prefer to avoid massive amounts of turds being piled up and manufactured into a man-made object, at least I do, I don't know about y'all. But I guess in some neighborhoods around the country that's just literally an impossibility at this point, bro, the simulation is just really starting to go wild. Man builds poop wall after property line dispute with neighbor. See, here's what I don't understand about this, you know, I've heard of neighborly disputes about property lines before, oh, y that you have an extra two inches of my yard whatever i get it right fine that's normal but why a poop wall you know wouldn't a normal wall do exactly the same thing like man this neighbor keeps encroaching on my land i'm going to build a fence or a wall to keep him out i feel like that would have done the exact same thing this guy just seemed a little bit too adamant on building a poop wall you know like he called the contractor and explained the situation the guy's like yeah honestly a chain link fence would probably be more than enough to keep him off no, I want to use turds. Turds. Lots and lots of turds. In fact, I have enough turds at my house. Will you please just sit there and watch me build a fence out of the poop that I have? Like, what are you, what are you supposed to say to that, dude? And genuinely, as the neighbor, what do you do when you wake up to just a massive wall of poop outside of your house? Was this a multiple day project? Was he out here, like, saving progress along the lines like, you know, you can in a video game when you're trying to beat the campaign? Or did he really just spend one night all night working with poop so that way he could surprise the neighbor he didn't like with it. And if those are the options, which one is genuinely worse, you know? Is it worse to just spend eight hours just straight huffing gas off of poopy? Or is it better to spend like weeks slowly sloughing gas off of poop? These are the questions we need answered, all right? All the scientists of the world, we need to stop focusing on global warming and figure out what happened to poop wall guy over here. A property line dispute between two neighbors in southeast Michigan led to a construction of a 250 foot long wall of poop or or compost fence. The cow manure is normally spread out on the farmer's field next door, said Wayne Lambarth, who owns the Adacian property in Lodi Township. However, now the turds are piled as a smelly reminder of the property line dispute from last year. Oh, okay, so whoever built this turd wall was like the pettiest person on the planet. They did this over some year-old beef. You're telling me that for a year, the idea of building this poop wall was just stewing in your head, and then one day you decided to commit to it? Like, I guess, you know, none of this is logical, never build a poop wall, but I would understand a little bit more if it was a crime of passion. I'll show them, I'm gonna make this poop wall. But the fact that it's a year after the property dispute shows that homeboy was like a little too into this idea not to mention 250 foot long wall of poop 250 foot long you know if you were trying to send a neighbor to the message of like i'm not gonna take your crap they probably would have gotten it after you know 50 feet 100 feet 150 feet even nah homie had to go for the quarter of a thousand mark just because he like loved building with the poop so much is this this dude's version of linking logs like oh yeah i just stack them up and make objects it's super sick next up i'm gonna build a cabin and live in it absolutely nothing that can go wrong by breathing all this in all day even if I was this dude's neighbor and you claimed your two inches of land back by doing this, I still feel like I win. You know what I mean? Because I didn't have to do that. Like, sure, whatever, take your two inches of land back. You're also now the guy in the community that's forever going to be known for building the 250-foot poop wall, and I feel like that's not something that they're gonna build a statue to you of in the middle of town square when you pass away. Could you imagine there's just some town in Michigan that has, like, a festival every year called Poop Wall where all the kids get together and build a poop 
concrete wall through the center of the town to celebrate the brave man who stood up to the bullies by building a 250 foot poop wall around the city. Is this their great wall of China, bro? Like to keep out the invaders when the United States crumbles, we're just gonna start using cow excrement to just build massive defensive structures? Ah yes, Windsor Castle had a little bit of an upgrade with some dookie on it. Like, I, come on, man. All this over some property line disputes. Ladies and gentlemen, I could have saved you some time for free if you call the county assessor's office and explain the situation. They usually have somebody come out and do it. So, homie really just did all of this for absolutely no reason. This was an unnecessary situation for him to put his hands in. The stench permeates Lambert's rental house near the property line, the report said. Complaints have been lodged, but officials say there's nothing they can do since the fence is on the farmer's property. It's not a poop wall, he told Fox 2. It's a compost fence. I feel like a compost fence and a poop wall is basically the same thing, especially because I feel like if your wall is made up of 50% over of something, that's just what it is. You know, like, sure, there might be some compost on it, but just because you set the core of the apple you ate this morning on top of it doesn't make it a compost fence. You've just really got to feel bad for this Lambarth's dude's rental house because it's not their fault that this dude had property line beef. Like, you know for a fact that the renters were not sitting here arguing with this farmer back and forth about the two inches of the property line. But now they're the ones that have to suffer by living next to the poop Great Wall of China, man. That's when you decide that you got to move out. You're like, listen, I know you've been a good landlord, but uh, I'm not trying to be caught up in the middle of whatever this crazy weird beef is. Whatever you and him do in your own time in motel rooms involving poop is your thing, but it's starting to affect my house. I will say it is a good way to get the person you're beefing with's attention, though. You know those renters had to have been calling this dude every 25 minutes trying to figure out what's going on because nobody wants to live near that. It smells bad for you, but how do you have people over, dude? Imagine having a friend over, they pull into the driveway. Yo, what is that with just this, like, thousand-foot giant compost fence behind you? I also feel like this is one of those situations where, you know, maybe we should be able to do something. I understand it's his property and you can do whatever you want on it, but I feel like that's gotta be, like, a, a public danger or public eyesore to just have that much crap sitting in one place. I mean, I don't necessarily know if it's the same as human feces, but doesn't massive piles of poop everywhere, like, spend disease really easily like really really easily you know like I said I'm, I'm not an expert by any means it might be different with animals but I don't know I would not want to just live next to the giant thing of poop even if I wasn't the next door neighbor a couple houses down a good whiff of wind when I'm eating my waffles in the morning just makes my nostril full of dookie no thank you just be a good neighbor bro trust me I feel like this level of petty just makes everyone not want to live next to you like if I went to buy this dude's rental house and I found out that the neighbor was so much of a douche that he was willing to, like, do all of this. I just wouldn't buy the house, dog. How serious could this property dispute have been, bro? The fact that they didn't go into detail of it makes me think there was, like, a legal settlement over it or something. But still, man, I feel like property disputes usually don't get this much beef around them, but hey, here we are. I also love the farmer's balls on him to just talk to the news. He's like, yeah, I'm petty. What about it? What you guys gonna do? Exactly. It's my property, so you're gonna do nothing. Let's be honest here. Your hands are tied. You gotta appreciate a man that understands when he's won the game and there's nothing that anyone can do about it. It is pretty funny. I don't want to live next to it, but hey, I'm gonna laugh at it because I'm not next to Poop Fence currently. I feel like the way they say Poop Fence, it makes it seem like they're trying to relate it to like a music festival. At Poop Fest 2020, the greatest artists will be performing. Anyways guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, press the like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought. And of course, subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications if you want to build a poop wall. If you're in the mood for some G Fuel, if you're going over to GFuel.com and grabbing some stuff, be sure to use code SCRUBBY at checkout. If you want to check out the intro song, link to it will be down below along with a link to my podcast the scuffed cast and the merch and uh yeah last but certainly not least i gotta give a shout out to all the members here on a channel if you're a member big big thank you for making the channel go round. and if you're not yet you should join you get a verified check mark next to your name and you're very swag so without further ado a big huge shout out to michael taylor michael taylor sorry draco rex jc clark fnf fan pip Zillers. Why So Blurry, Chippy Mike, Jay Green, Christian, Not Teddy, Ansel Tom, The Real, Zach, Matt, Dawson, Cray, Skirty, Robert Z, Tactical Army, Voizen, XF Gaming Vlogs, Joy Jones, Atticus is Cool, G Gomer, Grim, TQY, Dirty Cum, Napkin, Lisa Newhart, Blurst Weeb, Angry Dot, Because Awesome Gaming, Jake, Amanda, Toasty, Cannibal Kitten, Dusk Nerd, Chirpy, Candy Rose, Caveman, Ultra Radish, Stone Monkey, Pepe, Bullseye, Ben, Michael Harris, Cyrus, Flofty, Kanye, Wiro, Lackey, Caden, Carrot, Calvin, 
Kinsta, Random Bot, Bro, Zach Bauman, Knees Butts, Knees Duts, Dashy Boy, DJ Legend, Alex, Typical Panda, Prologue, Aaron Love Scrubs, Mackenzie, Benedicti, Brandon Groves, Flawed Phoenix, Dylan Baker, Sebastian Bees, Johnny Dude, Cosmic Ramen, Fabulously Terrifying, Chandler Lewis, and Ryuki. Big, big thank you to every single one of you guys for being members. It is very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, like I said, on that note, I'm going to go build a gigantic poop wall to keep my neighbor out of my yard now. If anyone needs me, I'll be eating hot Cheetos in order to get enough excrement. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you guys all next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.